Department of Anatomy, PDU Government Medical College, Rajkot welcomes you in the lecture series of abdominal X-ray. Today we will start with the special technique known as a hysterosalpingography. Hysterosalpingography is a radiological method by which the uterus and uterine tubes are visualized and their patency is confirmed. And the radiograph thus obtained is called a hysterosalpingogram. This condition, this procedure is performed to assess the uterine as well as the tubal morphology and patency, also it is contraindicated in non-pregnancy, acute pelvic infection, and recent uterine and tubal surgery. Hysterosalpingography is performed in initial five to ten days of menstrual cycle where uterine wall is comparatively thin. After antiseptic cleaning of the external genitalia, the vaginal speculum is inserted. Then, a catheterization of the cervix is done, preferably by 6-FR Foles catheter. The catheter should reach to the internal os of the cervix. And cannula is connected to a syringe through which the 5 to 10 milliliter of an iodized, iodized soluble contrast is injected under fluoroscopic guidance and then skygrams are taken. These are the schematic diagram where you can see the vaginal specula and the cannula of the catheter here. This is the internal loss of the cervix. This is the uterine cavity and this is the uterine tube. This is the lateral end of the uterine tube. Now, when the dye is injected, it will pass through this cannula into the uterine cavity. And because the dye is radio opaque and we are doing the procedure under fluoroscopic guidance, we will have images of this opaque dye that indicate the of the uterus. The dye passes through the uterus to the fallopian tube. The cavity of the fallopian tube is also catched in the fluoroscopic images. This is the video where you can see the dye injected through the cannula and that passes through the uterus tube. Again, we have repeated, repeated this video again. You can see the dye injected through this cannula. Yes, and this is the it passed through the uterine cavity and it passed through the fallopian tube. This is the cannula, this is the inferior pubic ramus, and this is the obturator foramen. So this is the lower part and this is the upper part of the pelvic cavity. Now this is the image where you can identify the cannula as we saw in previous video. This is the vaginal speculum. We will inject dye here. This is the ala of the sacrum and this is the iliac ridge. So this is the pelvic cavity, okay? Here we will inject the dye. Let's see what happens. So we have injected the dye. Now you can see this small opaque setup. This indicates a uterine cavity. This is the uterine cavity. Similarly, you can identify this thin white line on both sides. This thin white line indicates the cavity of uterine tube. This is the literal end of the fallopian tube. Okay. We have enlarged the image. Here you can see the uterine cavity. This is the cervix as well as the vagina. And this is the fallopian tube. This white line is the fallopian tube. I am drawing over the white line. This is the fallopian tube and this is the literal end of the fallopian tube similarly you can see on this side also okay now what happens if we inject further we have injected further dye so the dye has spilled out from the fallopian tube so this indicates that the uterine cavity is patent as well as the fallopian tube is patent here the dye is spilled out in the peritoneal cavity In some cases, like in this image, as you can see, this is the uterine cavity, but you can identify the uterine cavity is divided here. 
So this is a congenital anomaly known as biceptate uterus. Similarly, in this image, you can see the shadow of the uterine cavity, shadow of the left fallopian tube here, where dye has passed through the left fallopian tube and spread out in the peritoneal cavity, but the shadow of the right fallopian tube is absent. That means, that means right fallopian tube may have blockage within it. So this condition is known as unilateral cornual block. So this is the special technique, hysterocytic geography, which is generally used to detect the patency of uterus and fallopian tube in cases of infertility. In some cases, by the procedure, the infertility is treated also. In next lecture, we will discuss about the another special technique known as phallography. Thank you.